Hey everyone, I have some very exciting news for you. If you've browsed the RST subreddit, you may have already come across this post, but the new save format is now available in develop. So if you now uh, download the latest develop version of the game and you save a park, it will be saved in the new uh, .park format. So uh, in all the versions of OpenRST2, um, your park would also always save as an SV6 file. And this SV6 file format is actually what caused most in the limits in, of the limits in the game. So, for example, you can only have 128 write types in the SV6 format. You could only have 200 staff members. Your park could only be 254 by 254 tiles, which is actually quite large if you've uh, seen my uh, mega park. But yeah, um, a lot of these limits uh, will be uh, much, much higher in the new uh, save format. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's very exciting news. Now, this uh, is all still uh, new and it's uh, still only in the developed version. Um, so yeah, there's probably still some bugs. So if you can, uh, if you find any bugs, uh, please report them to the developers. And it may be a good idea to uh, still keep a backup of your park in the SV6 format uh, in case uh, anything st uh, still screws up for some reason. Now, uh, if you want to keep playing, uh, and if you want to keep saving in the SV6 format, you can uh, for now simply keep playing in the release version of the game, which still saves to SV6. And probably the next release from the developers uh, will also include the new save uh, file format. Okay, um, I think it will now be fun to actually uh, dive into this new developed version and show some of the uh, yeah, new features and removed limits that it has. Alright, I'm now in my uh, mega park. Uh, you, may, you may recognize it from my earlier uh, YouTube series. Now, um, yeah, the park, of course, uh, still the, still uh, the same. And the user interface also uh, still looks the same to me. I'll just immediately show a fun new feature that comes with this version of the game. So, uh, in the... Uh, in previous versions of OpenRST2, uh, well, yeah, the paths behaved uh, pretty much the same as in uh, uh, RST2, which is that uh, all these all the path types uh, had their own kind of railings and supports under them. But uh, in this version of the game, with the new save format, you can actually uh, choose a different uh, railing and support type for your paths. So, for example, uh, these red paths uh, always had these uh, space style uh, supports. So, for example, if we uh, place uh, one of these red pots uh, above ground it would always have this uh, this texture for it but now you can actually mix and match these supports so for for example uh, we can just build a red path uh, with these wooden supports under it which i think is a is a great addition to the game and uh, i think it uh, allows for some uh, much nicer paths in your park you can do the same with these uh, q uh, styles so i think that's uh, that's uh, really nice now, um, this park also has the maximum number of uh, staff members that's, uh, that was allowed in uh, the SV6 format. So we have 200 staff members, but yet, as you can see, we can now simply keep adding uh, staff members to the park. Of course, it doesn't show 200 handy men here, but we also have entertainers and uh, mechanics. So yeah, um, that's also a nice uh, limit to, uh, yeah, to be uh, removed from the game. And that's definitely necessary if you want to go for uh, even bigger parks than uh, than this uh, mega park. Okay, if we go to the object selection, uh, let's just uh, quickly uh, uh, add in some more of these filters. Hey, okay, um, here you can see the rides that are available now. In the uh, in the earlier versions, you could only have 128 selected rides. Now we have a maximum of 2,047 which is probably uh, more than enough for uh, most of your parks. Now, before you start adding all your custom rides to your park, uh, do remember that uh, all of the custom rides you uh, enable will also be exported with your uh, with your save file, which uh, also means that your uh, park, uh, or that your uh, file size of your save file will probably increase. So it's probably a good uh, to keep that into to take that into account if you want to, for example, share your park on uh, on si on uh, Discord, which uh, for example only has a limit of uh, eight megabytes. 
but any of these rides from the base game and its expansions uh, it's a, it's a all right to add those in since those uh, uh, rides uh, are not saved in the save file format and they won't increase your uh, file size. Now for all these categories uh, you can uh, simply add more than you previously could. We can even uh, for example add all these uh, theme sets. So I will just quickly do that and show how that looks. Okay I've now added all the RST2 um, theme sets to the to this uh, to this uh, park now um, it does not show all of them I believe well maybe it does but uh, quite a few objects here are still in the under the question mark tab so it could be that there's a limit to uh, the number that's uh, that's possible to fit in this screen um, I'm not really sure maybe it's a bug but yeah do uh, do take that into account that some of these uh, will not uh, some of these theme sets will not be shown here. Um, maybe uh, this will be made wider. Maybe it's still a bug. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's still uh, it's nice to see that uh, most of these uh, will simply uh, fit in the scenery window, and this will make uh, yeah <laughs> this will allow for much uh, nicer uh, workbenches. Now something else which you can find here is uh, music styles. Now for he here it only shows. Uh, all the standard music styles in the park but uh, I think uh, you will also at some point be able to add custom music to the game maybe it's already possible uh, I don't really know oh, here you can see the pod styles that uh, that uh, are now uh, in the game you can also select a lot more which uh, which will be nice since that was also very limited in the, in the previous versions and uh, something which is also nice is, uh, for example, this uh, dirt footpath. It's actually the dirt footpath from RST1, but uh, it's now also available here in the game. It could be uh, that it is, this is because I also have RST1 installed. I'm not really sure, but it's uh, definitely nice to also see the see that in the game. And here you can see the uh, railing styles which you can select. And something which I see, which is uh, uh, one of these. Uh, OpenRC2 official objects is that, uh, for example, Invisible Path has been uh, added to the game. That uh, can also be uh, fun to uh, to work with. Okay, if we go to the Advanced tab, now most of these uh, tabs you uh, were al already in the, in earlier versions of the game, but some new ones have been added. And for example, this one here has the terrain surfaces. So you can see uh, a lot of these, uh, yeah, all these uh, different grids for example or the grass grass clumps you can now uh, enable or disable them if you want and we can also see a new one here if you have uh, open rc2 official objects uh, over here which is the void land type and basically it allows you to uh, paint uh, some land in the, the black color of the void and that allows you to uh, make it look like a part of your uh, park has been uh, cut out Okay, so uh, now it's no longer necessary to uh, use objects to cut out a piece of land or uh, to use a uh, black tile palette to do it. You can now simply use this, uh, yeah, this void land color to uh, cut out parts of the park. So I think this is also a really cool uh, addition to the park. Okay, uh, another addition uh, which you can see here is these uh, station styles which you can select. So uh, a lot of these, uh, well, normally these would always be a... Uh, uh, available in your uh, in your uh, yeah, for, to select for your rides but uh, now there are several which you uh, I mean now you now you can actually uh, disable them if you want for example if I deselect this we can no longer build abstract uh, um, style entrances in our park and there's also a new one that has been added no entrance no platform uh, which uh, I think is a really interesting one so, uh, for example, let's take this uh, merry-go-round over here and we select the no entrance, no platform. And as you might be able to see, instead of the mulch uh, floor below it, it now uh, simply has grass or uh, whatever ground we put uh, below it. Let's uh, put a roof under it. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is uh, really cool and uh, it will allow for some uh, 
a cool new uh, station uh, styles uh, in your park. It also works for uh, coasters. Let's see if we have one where the station is exposed. Um, yeah, let's uh, take this. Uh, actually, let's take this uh, uh, Virginia reel here. So here you can see the station of the ride, and if you do this style, you can see the station platform around it is now uh, gone. And I think this will allow for some uh, really nice uh, yeah, <laughs> station designs. All right, uh, I think that was pretty much it for all the categories which you can now choose in the object selection. As you can see, there's a huge amount uh, possible to, to select from for all of these uh, categories. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that's really uh, exciting. Now, um, something else which I want to show you is uh, you can actually extend your park now if you want. So let's uh, set, uh, enable the sandbox mode. And this mega park uh, was the maximum size that was uh, allowed in the SV6 version of the game. But you can now extend it all the way up to 999 if you want, or 998, I'm not really sure. Wait, this uh, park was already uh, a huge effort to fill. So if anybody uh, wants to go for the maximum map size, uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck uh, <laughs> Yeah, filling that. Now there's a few limits uh, which I haven't discussed yet. Uh, one uh, limit is uh, the amount of objects that you can uh, have in the park has been increased uh, by a lot. So uh, yeah, quite a few uh, players ran into the object limit, especially when they build in a really detailed way. So uh, I believe the limit has been increased uh, tenfold, uh, or maybe even more, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, this for sure will allow for uh, a lot more uh, creativity uh, from players. And quite a few par uh, parks uh, from several players were on hold because they reached the object limit. So it will be nice uh, to uh, see these players actually expand and finish their parks. Now another limit uh, which has been uh, uh, increased by a lot is the sprite limits in the game. So uh, for example, uh, in earlier uh, versions of the game, you could have only uh, 9600 sprites and guests also uh, each uh, have a sprite. So yeah, you could, for example, uh, not have uh, more than 9600 guests in the park, but uh, we can now uh, easily go over that. So I will just uh, spawn in some guests into in the park. As you can see, we now already have uh, way over uh, 10,000 guests. So it will be nice to uh, also see this limit uh, go. But uh, of course, you should keep in mind that uh, it, uh, the park might get a little bit laggy if you spawn in too many guests. Uh, I already made some uh, videos with some test or some uh, beta versions of the uh, new save file uh, format of the game. And there I made the game really laggy by spawning in more than 60,000 guests. Oh well, yeah, that was all for this video. Um, uh, I uh, can't wait to see what you guys will all come up with uh, with the new save file format. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. <laughs>